Hello, and welcome back. You know where we are by now. And we have built quite a bit, including the big cat area, the penguin area, and the farm. So now you know kind of where this place is, which is where we'll be building today. Got the roof in place so I can see what I'm doing. And uh, what I will be building is a carousel also known as a merry-go-round. Apparently, those two words are 100% synonymous. I tried to find out if there was a difference, and I don't think there is. So I was planning on using these reindeer, but as you can see, the idea of someone sitting on their back underneath those antlers kind of not possible. So I did this instead. Made a version of the separate pieces with the head tilted a little bit. Now I know people can't actually sit on them in game, but if they could, now they, well, could. And most of these carousels or merry-go-rounds have horses but I figured since this is a Christmas zoo I would uh, go for some reindeer and I actually found out that the reason why most of these have horses why the traditional animal to have on these are horses is that this what we now consider a, a ride, it uh, was invented originally in the 1100s. So we're further back than candy canes to compare to something else I've been talking about in this series here. And back then, the point of this was not to be entertained. It was to train soldiers or knights uh, for jousting. So you'd sit on this fake horse and be wheeled around, not by an engine, of course, not by electricity. That did not exist. But they were probably powered either by people pulling it, or maybe more likely by donkeys or oxen strapped to this going around in a circle type device. But, of course, anything that humans can use for entertainment, humans will use for entertainment. So, once we reach the 1700s, that's exactly what we started doing. Although they didn't become ginormous, multicolored, fancy entertainment rides until we invented the steam engine. And that puts us squarely in the mid to late 1800s, an era where human ingenuity truly blossomed. So, so many of the inventions that we take for granted today are from that period. Even something like texting. Back then, of course, we uh, did not, we, I said as if I'm not quite that old. Back then, people did not have cell phones, but uh, they did have telegraphs and the first transatlantic message was sent during the late 1800s. They plopped the wire across the bottom of the Atlantic Ocean. And with all of these technological advancements and the fact that the standard of living just kept rising, at least up in the Western world, that meant that people believed in technology as a force for good. So any technological advancement would be celebrated. And not surprisingly, carousels became part of this celebration. Brightly colored, powered by a steam engine, lit by electricity, happy music playing, this was one of the things that the growing middle class would spend their growing amount of free time on. Another thing that achieved its current form in the mid-1800s was the donut, which I just put in over there in a Missy Goods vending machine. 
However, they have existed far longer than the carousel. Longer, in fact, than the candy cane. Let me quote here from the Smithsonian Magazine. Donuts, in some form or other, have been around so long that archaeologists keep turning up fossilized bits of what look like donuts in the middens of prehistoric Native American settlements. Of course, the donuts that we know today came to the States probably through Dutch bakers and then got mixed up with other traditions, including Native American baking traditions. And uh, someone decided to put a hole in them and history was eaten. These really are some of my favorite plants in the game, the underwater hydrilla. Hydrilla, um, coming from hydro, which means water, so whoever named them really doubled down on the water. And here is the finished Carousel Square. Really hope I will see you again tomorrow, where I will be putting in some arctic wolves. The day after that, some cranes. And the day after the cranes, I'm going to be building a Japanese-inspired tea house. Bye!